Hello, I am Swati Mari from KJ Soma College of Engineering and I am going to discuss model for designing intelligent agent architecture. The learning objective from this video should be the student should be able to describe model for the given task environment. We assume that by this time people have understood what are P's that is performance measure, environment, actuators and sensors and they also know properties of task environment, the six properties of the task environment. Now before designing the model or describing the model one should define the agent function and the programs. Here we understand that we are trying to design a rational agent and we have to define an agent function which will be mapped in the agent architecture to solve the entire problem. We have different uh, agent architectures like table driven agent, simple reflex agent, model based reflex agent, goal based agents, utility based agent and table driven agents are the most simple one but they are not much adaptive so as we move on towards utility based agent the level of sophistication of the agent uh, performance goes on improving. Now what is the model first of all? So the model is how the world works. We the human beings we work in different domains for example at home, in office, on roads, in theatres and how we work in the world is the knowledge about how the world works. So to design any intelligent agent architecture one should define how the world evolves or how the world changes. Why do we need this? Now when we talk about the agent, the agent will be able to perceive the environment but we human beings we have the perceptive history right from our childhood and using that base knowledge we take some decision which is not available with the agent if it cannot see all the in the entire world in one glance. So to handle this partial observability the agent must keep track of the part of the world which it cannot see right now. For example if the car in front is braking that means the front car's tail lights blink. So there are two percepts which have to be combined together to understand the car in front is braking. As human beings know this is one of the phenomena they do understand. So to agent to understand this we must define how the car tail lights work or how the braking indication works. So any agent that uses such a model is called model based agent. So let us take an example of a kitchen. So a task environment is the problem in which the agent is going to work which will have the six uh, properties as fully observable versus partially observable, deterministic versus stochastic, single agent versus multi agent, discrete versus continuous, episodic versus uh, sequential and static versus dynamic. So in the a task environment of kitchen we are assuming that we have some elements as refrigerator, stove, utensils, sink, platform and floor and the agent is supposed to clean the kitchen. Now as we work in the kitchen or we have seen the kitchen we understand that there are various elements in the kitchen which we are considering right now these ones and every one requires a different cleaning method. For example a floor has to be swept and then it should be cleaned with the mop but while cleaning the refrigerator we have to take all the uh, stuff inside the fridge outside we generally keep that on platform while doing so we may drop something on the floor we unclean the floor we unclean the platform and then one has to clean the fridge and then one has to keep everything on the platform back into the fridge so for every element cleaning methods are different again kitchen elements and their placements. So generally sink is at the end of the platform. The platform is at the higher level of the floor. So in case if I am washing the platform then there is a possibility of spilling the water over the floor and it is going to make it unclean. So this information has to be understood while considering this kitchen as a model. Then cleaning of the elements and their effects on each other that is cleaning the stove is going to unclean the platform and sink cleaning the fridge is going to unclean floor and the platform and so on. So one has to understand the effects of the elements that is the entire goal is to clean the kitchen 
which will include actions of cleaning the elements but they may have positive or negative effects so once then any action can be undone by cleaning other element kitchen elements and care this is another uh, perspective that one has to see that is utensils if they are steel or metal ones then we need not handle them with lots of care but some utensils may be uh, glass or something so that they can be fragile also the stove the st sometimes those are metallic sometimes those are glass top so accordingly the care has to be taken differently fridge door should not be kept open for a longer time so these all things they come in the care so as we define artificial intelligence as study of making uh, machines to do the work which currently people are doing better so whatever people do understand about their environment that should be understood by the agent otherwise it will not be able to perform as efficiently as generally people are doing in the current world also finally kitchen cleaning and other agents in the same environment generally kitchens are part of the home or part of the offices while cleaning anything it creates noise so that will make other people in the same environment irritating also if the care is not taken properly then some elements may break they may bend and that is not something which is acceptable or that does not make people happy while anybody cleans the kitchen and we are expecting the intelligent agent to be rational that is given what it knows it should perform in the correct manner so if i have to define the model of the kitchen then i must define all this information to the agent and then i can expect it to perform better given the performance element environment actuators and sensors so how do we finalize the model because there is lots of information known about just kitchen as the model and we would consider road as one of the domain or task environment we may consider class as one of the task environment so how one should define <coughs> what should be finalized as model so problem definition will tell you what exact are we expecting from an agent and one should not deviate from the task or goal of the agent <coughs> also performance measure will define what all it is supposed to achieve so is it supposed to achieve the cleanliness most but i am going to tolerate noise or it has to keep everything at the moderate level has to be defined at the performance major level which will be defined with the integer values and accordingly the things which are contradicting which each other would be taken care at environment it will define the close kitchen home kitchen etc actuators will define what uh, actuators does it have to perform action on the environment so does it have wheels does it have robotic arms accordingly we can limit the expectations from the intelligent agent and sensors would define what kind of input is available to the agent so is it able to see the dirt is it able to will it will have infrared sensors to do that will it be able to sense the location and everything so unless and until it has required sensors and it has required actuators one cannot expect the exact output from the agent so even that will define to what extent we are supposed to give the basic information to the agent that is information about the model and so abstraction plays a vital role in this case we should not uh, explain the actions to the extent that how to clean utensil that is a glass a plate and everything we should just define uh, the actions at the abstract level stays at the abstract level and that will limit to certain extent to what extent it should have the information of the model so basically model information of the task environment serves as base knowledge for the agent so that will include the rules and the facts and accordingly it could work so given all these facts that is problem definition piece abstraction and properties of task environment will help us in choosing the correct architecture which will also have the model as one of the vital part of the architecture design so now if i see the basic model based reflex agent in that one we have state of the environment which is sensed to the sensors and it will maintain information about what the world is like right now how the world evolves will give it information about how the model works 
so if there is a glass then glass if it is dropped on the floor it breaks so i cannot use that glass thereafter also it will uh, unclean the floor and it is very dangerous if anybody walks over them and it is going to injure people so it is hazardous or kind of dangerous thing so this is how the world evolves in case of glasses and in case if i drop utensil on the floor then the effect is different so all this information about the world is given to the box of how, what the world is like right now accordingly agent can decide over how its actions work and then depending on what the goal is defined we can define condition action rules and accordingly it could choose the actions which could be performed by actuators and they will have effect on the environment so based on how complex the problem is we could move from model based reflex agents to goal based agents wherein it will take more care about how the action should be taken so that do not only follow the condition action rules but look at the goals at perspective you may divide goals into sub goals try to achieve them and then work on the environment or also we could use the information of how the world evolves that is model of the world in utility based agents in which we will strive to make people happy by considering what actions make them happy what makes them sad and accordingly it will not only achieve the goal but it will also make the people happy and it will increase the utility value and finally this performance element in the learning agent will be one of the agent architecture so this could be table driven agent it could be simple reflex agent or it could be a model based reflex agent or goal based or utility based agent which will be very much adaptive and it will learn the things in the environment and which could be an expert in the environment so let us take a pause for the reflection point so given a problem think about it and uh, try to figure out the task environment and the properties of same first of all consider the parameters those should be considered while defining the model and then write 10 points about the task environment those should be known to the agent before it should be accepted as one of the boxes in the model based reflex agent or goal based or utility based agent thank you this is end of the video